Hello! Ha ha ha! We are back in Norfolk! I oh, flipping love Norfolk. Got a lot planned here this, uh, for a couple of weeks. We're going to stay for a couple of weeks, I think. And we are today staying here. We're over there. And those of you who have been here or have watched my videos, we're over there on Owl Pitch with Raven standing there staring at me. But I'm here out the wind. Bit breezy today. But we're at Fox Hills in Waybourne. We've come to see the lovely Amory and Steve. They're so lovely. What a great campsite. I love it here. It's just nice and boutique and peaceful. Amory and Steve can't do enough for you. They're flipping lovely people. And uh, she's like our second home. <laughs> we love it. Amory and Steve are like our auntie and uncle. They're flipping lovely. Anyway, a few thank yous to start with. I've got some super thanks in that. I'm going to put a little bit of ticker in later on to say thank you to you lot but a big thank you to Dan and Mazzy the Travel Trolls lovely people we had a lovely time with them they're so lovely right good friends really nice people Neil the Campsite Walden top man I hope your move went well mate pleasure to help you give us a shout any time and the Boathead on tour we had a lovely time with them as well Mark and Diane stop eating all them Big Macs and wake up granddad <laughs> He'll know what I'm talking about. And yeah, so we had the diesel fit, uh, diesel heater fitted. Brilliant. Josh that fitted it from Craft to Camp. I'll put his details below and I'll put a bit of B-roll in here that I did it of him fitting it. Bless his heart. What a, what a worker. Old school grafter. He got there, got on with it. It was done in about an hour and a half, two hours. Right nice lad. Bearing in mind that when he turned up, it started piddling down. It had been day. Never rains at the nurseries. Yeah, he uh, was laying underneath the van in a rain running off the side of the van. I'll stick a little bit of video up now so you can see that. So Josh, you're a flipping star. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's fantastic. So yeah, we're going to be hanging around here for a few days now. Uh, I've got to pop it to Sheringham. Go and get a few bits and pieces because we ain't been shopping yet. And uh, we're going to go and see some nature. Meeting up with a couple of mates on Sunday. That'll be good fun. Go and do some wildlife photography. And around this area, plenty of hares. I've got a bit of intel off Van Marie. She told me about one place I could go and look, and I know another place over here that I've seen them before running around. Happy flipping days! So I'm gonna go and get sorted. We're gonna pop into Sheringham. I think it might be market day today. If it's market day, I'll show you. But um, I might give you a little look around here. I wanna get a runner for my, not me running. I wanna get a carpet runner to go all the way through my van. Because um, I'm, I'm a bit of a rug monster. I like a bit of uh, a bit of a rug in my van. Just because we're in and out of it all the time. With muddy boots. And I try to take them off at the door. But we've got a dog and stuff like that. So we've got it fully carpeted. I put a video up to uh, carpets for caravans. That I did. They're really good if you want a new carpet. Put a few people onto them. They're brilliant. And uh, so I want to go and see if there's a bit of an all everything shop in sharing and it does all off the roll carpet runners and stuff like that so hopefully they'll got got me a plan b carpet runner but anyway thanks for watching as well thanks for watching my, my videos really appreciate it you're all flipping superstars you know i love you all don't you do right let's get off go and see what we can see see you in a bit right we're in Sheringham. nice and quiet today so we parked in the car park there's an Indian over there. If you stay at Amory and Steve's called Le Bon or Le Bon Indian Cuisine. They deliver to the campsite. It's stunning Indian. Brilliant food. Got to have that. So, there's the railway station. We are going to go on the railway train. Sheringham Station. Sammy's at me. We're going to go on the railway train. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. They're running a limited service at the moment. 
so it's next Sunday so I'll book up for that because you can take dogs on it as well but there's a seafood shop here and you know me Come on, that's the plan right let's gonna have a look around I don't want to stay too here because I've shown you around here before but I want to get some meat meat because I'm on a low carb diet I'm gonna get some seafood because I'm on a high seafood diet. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cherry shops. I want to get some seafood. Ha 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 ha! Very old man. <laughs> Mmm! Right, go as many cherry shops as you want now. about flipping right After that slightly disastrous slip up where I said you can go in all the charity shops you want now. Anyway, we are walking down this little path. I've wanted to come down here for ages. There's a lake here next to us, which hopefully will uh, oh muntjac poo, which takes us through Wolsey Hills Reserve. Yeah. There we go. There's a hide up there, so I'm a member. I want to look down here first over this lake, because I've never been here before. There's a hide up there, so I want to go up there and have a look up there, just to scope it out a little bit. I've only brought me uh, 100 to 500 lens today. But in all these reeds here, you'll get the bearded tits. Now, this is quite nice. I didn't even know this was over here. If you can see this, look. There's a big bird feeder there. There's some goldfinches on it. And it goes up to that hide and then back down here. So, yeah, I've never been here before. I went to have a look down here loads of times. So let's have a little scope out, see what it's all about. And I'll uh, let you know what's here. So down a bit of a dip here, that's nice. There's an L box up there, 
just walking down this path and we could hear and all of a sudden we heard a pheasant fly off bearing in mind this is a bird reserve right three women come around four women come around the corner one of them's got to spring a spaniel off the lead chasing the birds about she went hello have you seen any birds I went no but I've heard a few fly away just looked at her dog looked at her some people are just anyway it's my gripe of the day it's quite nice here it's just quiet now they've gone and out of the way. But I think, is that a little path there? No, I think this is going to take us down the side of this field. We might go back there and then go across. It brings that here. This looks very hair like. There. I've not seen one yet. There we go. What should we say? And the old seed rape growing in, in, in this field here. That's them lovely big yellow fields you see. It's time of year. Let's get back in there. Out the wind. But yeah. It's almost getting to hay fever time innit there's nothing worse than suffering from hay fever now I haven't seen a toad on this path but there's a be very careful not to step on toad paths backwards and forwards here it's really nice nice and quiet now opposite is the entrance to clay marshes Cly and uh, there's a lot of people out there birding. It's a really nice day today, sort of a spring day, but flipping wind. Did I mention I hate wind? I'm going to have a look up this top of this little hill and look at that hide, see what's up there. Now the uh, women have all gone. I could hear them when I got out of my car. Have you seen any birds? Aha! So I showed you that toad watch sign. Look! It's a little toady. Now, unlike frogs, they've got a warty skin. And that little lump behind his eyes is a little poison gland. And they've also got little pads on their front thumbs, the males. This is only a young one. Look at him! He's well cute, isn't he? nice putting back where we found him he's heading over to that pond so he's just come across from here and he's heading over there so let's put her off the track here you go mate dup, 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 dup. that's good isn't it actually see one and these Munt jack poo. Now, I'll wash my hands afterwards, obviously. But all deer poo, you can see that on the end of that, it's like a little milk bottle, it's a little nipple. And all deer poo have that little protuberance on the end, that little nipple. And obviously, this is tiny, so that is going to be a munt jack poo. One, one single poo nugget is called a fumet and a clump of deer poo is called a crotty. I think I've said that before, but if you haven't watched many of my videos, that's what it's called. I'm gonna go up this here now, after that bit of Toby excitement. Shut the gate behind me. Go and have a look up here, because it sounds very birdy. No wind doesn't interfere too much. We're going up on a bit of a hill now. Don't know what that is up there. That could be a hide. There's a little seat halfway up. 
It's ever so nice coming here. There's a little bird feeder there. The bird feeder we just saw is just through there. But it's ever so nice to come around here. I mean, look at that view. Now, quite often park in that car park there and walk up here. You get the bearded tits and marsh harriers come over and all the wading birds on this side you can see but this is that nice little pond I think there's a couple of pot child in there, there's a couple of geese, grey leg and a couple of mallards male and female but that's a nice little spot as well to go and have a look as I say there's little seats all the way up here so if you're a bit dodgy on the old pins you can just have a Leisurely walk and the steps are nice and shallow as well. Nice shallow steps. Oh, it's really beautiful up here. Look at this. Norfolk Ornithologists Association, Walsey Hills. Now, don't think that's a hide. That looks more like it's got bird boxes on it. So it could be an owl box, like an owl hide. It is all about it. Richard Allen Richardson, 1922 to 1977, founder of Clay Bird Observatory. One of the most gifted bird artists in the field of ornithologists of the 20th century. So if you want to have a look at that, Give it a pause. But you can come over here. Look at that. What a lovely view. There's star only down there. There's a little Jenny Wrench just flown out. Oh, you can just sit here, look. Bird feeders sponsored by Clay. Oh, like Clay Bird Club. Just sit here and get a couple of pictures. So I've just popped up here, and it is a hide. Look at this. That's a really nice little hide. It's right down there, oh, that's a bit windy. Right down onto that pond. Right the way over Clyde Marshes. There you go, a nice little hide, very dry. Very quiet. Got all this lovely gorse out as well. Beautiful. Right, let's go and find Sammy. See what else we can find, eh? So I just got back to the car and Sammy said, there's some people standing watching off the bank right in front of us. Raven. And uh, she'll just see what they're looking at. Spoonbill. But I'm not going to stay over here because we're coming. I'm coming over here on Sunday in a couple of days' time with a couple of friends. But you can see where them people are walking there. This usually yields a good selection of birds over this part here and right down the end. There's a little hide. I've been down there before and done a video, so I put that one up. But we're just going to head into Cly. Just want to pick a couple of bits up from the shop. And then we go back to the campsite. It's just a bit of a wrecky today. And there's Raven. Raven, say hello. Cly now. Just parked up and said, Do you want some sweeties from the little shop? So we oh, yes, please. I said, I'll go and get you some. Because you know it's over there, didn't you? The Cly smokery. I'm going to go and get a big bag of smoked prongs. <laughs> Happy days. This is a great little shop here. I'll stick a video up I've done in there. But let's go and get her some sweets and some prongs. Ooh. Yum yum. Get some prongs. Ooh, smoke prongs. They are flipping lovely. 
Right, let's go back to Sammy. Oh, come to Daddy. Oh, that didn't last long. <sighs> Time for a nap. <laughs> yum, yum. So I didn't have a nap, Mark, before you say anything. Anyway, I'll come for a little walk. I'm going to go and scope something out. I'm going to take you with me. So we're up there. Let's just put these new things in. There's a slow down sign there. There's a bus stop just outside the site that takes you all the way down. It'll take you to Chrome all the way around the coast. Yarmouth, etc. And there's the Muckleburg military collection there. So I've just put all these new fences in. Where I've brought you before. Takes you into Kellin. Well, there's no kissing gates. So let's get through here. And I've just seen something that I want to take video of. So I'll take you and show you in there. This is where I am. Let's go and have a look, eh? So I'm going to walk down through these woods. By the campsite. Lovely oak. A little bit of an oak woodland there. Look at all them oaks in there. Beautiful. And in the summertime, spring and summer, this is all bracken all the way up. Now I have seen adders over here. So just be a little bit careful with your dogs when you come walking over here in the summertime if you ever come and visit Anne Maria Steve's. But over the back there is the campsite. But between here and the campsite is a field. I've just seen something in the field I want to see if I can get a photograph of. But when I look in the back fields, which is private property military collection, and see if I can see some hair. Now I've seen the hairs over there before, so this is just a recce. Bit bitty this video, haven't it? Bit of everything. I need to come down here, sneak through those woods, because there's something in that field that I might be able to get a picture of. I'll tell you what it is, it's a mum jack. Now that field there, there's a tank right over the, over the front there on the road, right next to the campsite. But this long field here is usually full of crows, rabbits, and there's usually deer in here as well. And there's one out today grazing. Bearing in mind it's only about, I don't know, half past two. Not even at two o'clock. So I'm gonna see if I can creep through that woods. And I'm gonna go up the back. Over the back there is all the military collection fields. And like a light aircraft, runway, etc. But in those fields, you usually get hair. So, I'm just going to creep over here and see if I can get a picture of this deer. Probably not, but you never know. And I'm going to head off up that hill there, see if I can get and see some hair. Now, I won't disturb them this time, get a few shots if I can see them. And I'll come back another day, I'll bring my bag hide bag hide from wildlife watching supplies and I'll get in the woods there on the edge of that field see if I can get some footage and some pictures of those hairs. Oh a squirrel. Right, so I'm gonna put you down see if I can creep over towards this deer. Never know eh? So as I come up this little bit of a woodland there's the field there. The wind change swept around here and blew my scent right across that field. Now, your scent to a deer is a big giveaway. It carries your sound as well. So as soon as you come around the corner, the wind changes, it's coming from behind me now. And it just gives you away straight away. But in front of me is a huge rookery. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear these rooks. Sorry about the wind noise if it's really bad, but it's windy. Up here is a big rookery in all these tall trees here. 
and the trees are ash. There's on that tree over there are King Alfred's cakes and I'll take you over and show you those. So that'll be a dead tree. But up there there's a big swirl of rooks. Up there. But I did as I come around the corner, the deer was here and it must have run up onto that hill because I see it on the crest of the hill. So that's quite guffy today, that's quite gusty. But this would be a great little spot to come and sit. Also I've noticed a couple of other things that I'm gonna come over if it's not windy and it's nice. So I'm gonna come over and see if I can see. So that'll be another video. But let's take you over and show you these King Alfred's cakes. Now King Alfred cakes are a fungus and it's Latin name is Daldenia concentrica. And you see those little jobbies there? Let's grab one. There we go. Yeah, that's a dead one. Now, when they're living, these things, they're like a chocolate cocoa colour. And these are fantastic as firelighters, they will catch a spark. Now while I was teaching bushcraft, and I go through my coat pockets in my utility room where all my gear is, I guarantee it, every pocket will have one of those in it. But they have to be dead and dry. Not, I think there's one down here. Let's have a little look. That one's still growing. See, it's like a chocolatey color. That one next to it is black. So that's fine. There's another one there. You find them on the old dead ash. Great for catching the, the spark of a ferro rod. So we've got fox gloves in here. That's fox gloves. And lords and ladies. Cuckoo's, cuckoo pint, it's a member of the Aram family, very poisonous. We'll go into them another time. Let's have a little walk through here. There's loads of stuff. The marigolds are coming up, look. Stinging nettles. Everything started to burst through. Look at them beautiful flowers, look. Coming up. So I'm going to head up here because that big field there is private property, no entry, and there is security everywhere here. Obviously, it's a military collection, so there's cameras and stuff everywhere. So I'm going to walk up that fence line. There's ground ivy here, it's just starting to come into flower. That plant there with the purple flower on it's called ground ivy. If you pick a leaf, it's quite fragrant you can make a herbal tea out of it and they used to use that to clarify beer before they used hops but it blankets the ground like ivy most of that green you can see is that oh bird box there so knackered and for that tree oh i love the woods and this is ash this tree and when you learn learning your trees always learn the bark as well, and the leaves. But this is predominantly ash in here. Let's go and have a look over here, at the edge of this field. And all I'm gonna do is walk up this field. I might not even see any hair, but I'm not really bothered about that. As I said, it's just a recce. Just to see if I can find any. But lovely. And that there is called an ash stall. It was obviously an ash tree like this many years ago that. And it's cut off and it shoots up branches as it grows. All these, bran all these branches that it shoots off become trunks and it ends up a multi-trunk tree. So that's an ash stall. That. There's loads of stuff in here. Bloody rhododendron, look coming up. What a pest that is. 
gorgeous. So that's the military collection over there with a great big radar tower on the back of it. And then right behind Dan Marie and Steve's site is this North Norfolk coast, beautiful. Some crows in there. But I think you could go for tank drives and stuff around here. But the beaches over there are really nice, take you over there. I've never been in the military collection. Apparently the bloke that owns it, it's a bit of a grumpton. So I might go in there one day. If someone else wants to go and have a look, I'll follow them in. It's lovely out of the wind. All the black thorn, or slow, as you may know it. Blossoms coming out, look at that. Blackthorn blossoms, beautiful. And Blackthorn's got this purple coloured, purple coloured bark. And these bushes here are all full of slows in the in the autumn. Look at them coming out. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, let's go up the top, see if I can see the hair. lichen on this tree. Gorgeous isn't it? As I said, a lichen is half fungi, half photosynthesizing plant and bacteria. So that's lichen. So like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, get it? I'll nick that. <laughs> My heart just skipped a beat because I thought I'd see a hair, but it's not. If I look through my camera, it's Bugs Bunny. Now this Norfolk soil. is very sandy. I can't see one hair over there at the moment, which don't mean to say they're not there. A hair will lay in something called a form, which is a, a shallow pit in the ground. And the hare's eyes are very high up on its head with long ears. So it can see and hear everything around it. They've sort of got black tips to their ears, but and they're a big, big animal. When you see one next to a rabbit, you know it's not a rabbit. And rabbits are a smaller, a smaller creature and uh, have a different lope, they walk differently, they hop differently. I can't see one hair in there. But the Norfolk sandy soil, especially on these coasts, is a haven for rabbits. I think there's an old book called Tales of a Norfolk Poacher, or the Poacher King, I think it's called maybe. And that's all about the old Norfolk, Norfolk Poachers. Because if a rabbit, is on your own private land. If you catch someone hunting them on your own private land, they're then classed as game, so it's classed as poaching. Even though they're a pest species. I can't see any, this is sort of an airfield here. They're doing something over there. In the uh, summertime, they have ospreys landing here, not the bird, but a sodden great big military, American military plane and it vertically takes off it's got like helicopter blades on the top it takes off vertically two helicopter blades and then it, as it fo pushes forwards it's got wings and the, the helicopter blades come backwards and propels it forward i've got a video on that i'll stick that up so you can have a look but no hair here a of sheep rabbits and crows If you don't look, you don't know, do you? But I'll keep having a look at this area. And I'm going to walk all the way down there and along that beach as well. I'm going to walk that beach all the way back into Weybourne, which is a lovely walk. I 
Oh well, never mind. Well, I'm going to have a creep back through the woods. See if that deer's popped up. I did get a long shot of it. Yeah, I'll put that up. I'll pop back. Pop back to Gladys now. Back onto the campsite. And see what Sammy's up to. Ah, I woke up to this this morning. Look. Beautiful, look at this. Isn't this lovely? I think Sammy's gonna come out here and do some macro photography later. But look at that. One of the ladybirds are waking up. The bumblebees flying around. The joys of spring. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that one here. Thank you ever so much for watching. And uh we're off out again to get you another video. Good and I. Anyway, I think that's all I was going to say. It's a problem with splitting a video over a couple of days. Forget what you said or what you was going to say. Anyway, it don't matter, does it? I'll say it next time. You look after yourselves, eh? Look after each other. Stay safe, stay sane. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I might go and see some peregrine falcons. I think I might do a peregrine falcon video. Would you like that? There's two places I know where the peregrine falcons are nesting and they've got eggs. So, they'll be flying backwards and forwards. The male will be feeding the female. So I'm not going to do that anyway. You take care and I'll see you all later. Bye.